So welcome for this uh, very short intermezzo on punning as it's called. And uh, there is one big difference between RDFS and OWL that we haven't talked about. And that is that um, there is this very, very strict distinction that you have to make between uh, uh, objects and classes in OWL. So you're not allowed to say that something is both an instance and a class. Then OWL will complain and does not accept uh, this input. That can be rather tricky because sometimes you want to talk about um, instances that are also classes. And this is a, a big problem. So let me take an example. So if you want to uh, talk about the, uh, the class of species, then you have owls as a, a species or lions as a species. But then you want also want to use uh, lions as a class. You want to say that uh, Simba is a, a lion. So here there is a sort of double use of the concept of lion, as it's both an instance of the class uh, species and it is the class of all the objects. And this creates huge problems in the semantics, basically. So um, when you want to allow these kind of statements really in the language, then your language becomes undecidable, so you cannot uh, uh, do, do any reasoning over it anymore. So there are formulas to which there is no inferencing possible. So this is something that's very much unwanted. So OWL semantics doesn't, uh, uh, syntax, the, the OWL language doesn't allow you to do this, or it didn't allow you to do it. Um, it's uh, until uh, the idea of punning came. So the idea of punning is that you might use the word line in this example. So you might say um, lines is a species and lines is a, a class of objects. But then OWL will automatically consider these two things, lions, as different things. So it will say the lion that is a species is not the same thing as the lion of which Simba is an element of. So you have to be very careful when you model these kind of things. You make you, you really have to understand that the owl interpreter will not identify those two things, even though they have the same name and the same identifier, to be the same thing. This gives you some powerful means of talking about the same object in two different ways, but you have to make sure that you do not expect there to be any reasoning across those two statements.